Doug Kite here at Gillette Stadium with our weekly video mailbag. And our first question comes from Kyle McNamara, who asks, how do you like the way that this young and diverse offensive line has gelled so far this season? I think they've gelled very well so far with rookie left guard Joe Tooney, center David Andrews, and right guard Shaq Mason. They've also got, obviously, Nate Solder back there at left tackle. They've had to mix in Marcus Cannon and Cameron Fleming at right tackle with Sebastian Vollmer out. I think they're meshing very well so far. I think that a lot of that is owed to Dante Scarnecchia back at offensive line coach. I think that Scarnecchia really has helped bring those young players up. I think all of them are playing a lot better this season than they did in previous seasons. That starts with Nate Solder, who the Patriots didn't have last season for most of the year due to an injury. He's back and he's really kind of pulled that offensive line back together. Marcus Cannon is playing the best football of his career and so is Cameron Fleming. Fleming was cut last September, made the roster off the practice squad at a certain point last season, but he's been on the roster this entire season and he's filled at left tackle and right tackle exceptionally well so far. Second Second question comes from Jim Gilhooley, who asks, what are your impressions of Woodrow Hamilton's performance against Cleveland? I thought that Woodrow Hamilton, who Bill Belichick calls Woody Hamilton, played extremely well against the Browns, and that was pretty unexpected. He came out of college unheralded out of Ole Miss, signed as an undrafted free agent. Didn't expect him to see the roster this season, but Vincent Valentine had a back injury. Woodrow Hamilton had to step up. I thought he held his ground very well there in the middle of the Patriots offensive line, and he managed to make some plays there across the line of scrimmage. It seems like Bill Belichick really likes him. Him and rookie linebacker Landon Roberts both definitely stepped up against the Browns. Final question here comes from Brian, who asks, who do you think will line up against A.J. Green this weekend? That is one of the biggest questions of the week. I expect it to be Logan Ryan with safety help over the top from either Devin McCourty or Deron Harmon. Logan Ryan is exceptionally good against those big, tall, speedy receivers. When he has that help over the middle, Logan Ryan isn't the fastest player. So when he's got a safety blanket, he's able to play a little bit more aggressive at the line of scrimmage. If Ryan does play against Green, that will leave Malcolm Butler against old friend Brandon LaFell, the former Patriots wider receiver. Butler should be able to handle LaFell one-on-one. -on -one. The Patriots' other option would have Butler take on Green one-on-one. -on -one. And that's a little bit risky. Butler is the Patriots' best cornerback, but they've found in the past that they're a lot more productive on defense when Ryan does take on the number one guy with help over the middle or help over the top, and Butler takes on that number two wide receiver. So that will do it for this week's video mailbag. Stay on Nesson.com for all of your Patriots news and analysis.